everyone. I thought I'd do a flip of my progress in Midnight Masquerade by Hannah Carlson. This is one of the books that I hope I can complete before 2022. So as with the Camilla Derrico Cute and Creepy that I did a progress flip of, I'm going to do one of this. So I hope you enjoy having a little look at the pages I've completed in here. So let's have a look. So I've not done this little one yet, but I did do this title page. This was Distressing Background and a bit of Derwent ink tents on the rabbits and then I believe it was a Black Widow pencil for the little sign and then I put my name on there. Really, really quick and easy on that title page. There's lots of, like this one here, I'm sort of shying away from this one at the moment. Um, I do struggle when they're right in the spine. I don't enjoy colouring ones that are like that. Um, so we shall see. So I did this one. This one was a distressing background again, but I did put lots of stickle dots in the background of that one. Um, the lanterns were distressing, not distressing, Derwent Ink Tents. Next one I did was this. I think this was the Neo Colour 2 background. And then I tried to create some clouds with some acrylic paint, which I didn't like at all. Um, I didn't like my um, <laughs> my attempt at that. Um, this was, again, ink tents on the birds. I think I was loving the ink tents um, at the start of this book. The crane was ink tents as well. I can see around the edges this colour here and a bit of metallic paint splashed on in the background, I think you can see there. I really want to do this one. I don't know why I've not done that yet, actually. So there's a lot in the centre of the book that I've not done, actually. And then we get to these two pages. I really, really love this one. I love the brightness of it. The backgrounds was the Decoa Americana paints. Um, a yellow and a pink, a lovely pink. I don't know where this pink colour's gone actually. I was looking for it the other day. It's disappeared. Again, another item that's disappeared <laughs> off my desk and I do not know where it's gone. Um, so I used a bit of glossy accents on here, on the little love heart. Lots of stickles. I just love this one. It's such a fun one. I put stickles on all the sprinkles on the cupcakes. Really love that one. So this is a recent one. This will be being shown in my February's finished pages. Really enjoyed this. Distressing background again. Um, I used actually a blue and a sort of pink distress ink but I mixed them together to get some purple tones in as well um prismacolor and polys and then it was the air to use the gel pens that I used which are so much like the pentel hybrids it's unreal they're really really nice them new air to use the gel pens really nice I used a lot of white gel pen as well for all the dot details really enjoyed that this was another double page spread that i did quite a few months ago now quite a few months ago i think that was a pastel background a soft pastel background with stickles a bit of derwent ink tents i can see in some areas and the rest pencils and i, I think this one was a mix of pencils so it would have been some air uh, teasers I think for the greys definitely. It's a little cute one that one. We've got this one that I did on a live stream. So if you want to go and watch that, go and watch that back. Um, that was the Spectrum Noir inks for the background of this one. Prismacolor pencils. 
and I think it was the Collier, Gl Collier Glitter and Metallic Gel Pens on that one. So you can follow along with that if you go and check out the live stream back. I think I did mention what colours I was using um, throughout that video. I did this one. Now this was all distress, uh, not distressing, Sturmant Ink Tents again. The whole girl flowers her was all the ink tents. The background was distress inks and then I put a bit of washi tape on just for a bit of texture. And there is a bit of gel pen as well around the flowers a little bit. That was a fun one to do. Next one was this. I did this one last month. So this is the little donut cat. Hopefully I'm going to be able to do this one at some point this month and try and copy some of the colours over onto this page. Um, so hopefully I've wrote them down because I really love this um, colour on the green jacket. I'd like to take some of that colour over onto this page. But yeah, that was a nice fun one. That was done with the Black Widow Monarchs. There's some really nice shades in that new set. These are super cute. So this was one I did a couple of months ago, I think. And I think this might have been all Prismacolor pencils. There was a bit of Derwent ink tents on the cats that I used. Um, lots of stickles. And I think this pencil was the Prismacolor gold metallic pencil, if I remember correctly. Um, that's a copper jelly roll on her face there. Really, apart from the skin, I really loved that one. But the skin just went really overworked and wrong. <laughs> that was me attempting a dark skin. I really love this froggy. Maybe that's one I'll do next. Um, these two I did, I think this was the first two pages I did when I got this book actually. So I think this was, let me look, I think this was a Neocolor 2 background on both pages. I think it was, yeah. I think I just filled it with Neocolor 2s, as you can see in the edge here where it's just not got into the corner. So Neocolor 2 background. Um, the gel pens, I think they're the Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallics gel pens that I've used on around the masks. And it would have been the Air Teaser pencils on this one, I think. But yeah, that's a really fun one. And the last page in this book is this one, the Candelabra. Is that what they're called? <laughs> um, yeah, I created a sort of, well, I tried to create a textured table top that it was stood on. Um, that was a soft pastel background, lots of white gel pen, um, distress ink for the candelabra section again. So that's it so far. I will keep you updated on how I'm, my progress in this book. Please do give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.